Hello, uh, today I'm just going to be explaining how I've installed um, a BL Touch on my Anycubic i3 Mega. Um, I'm using an Ant Clubs uh, cloning BL Touch um, that's been working really well. Um, my current setup is an E3D Titan Aero uh, with a Volcano hot end. So I won't, uh, exp I won't give you the mount that I'm using uh, because the mount will be different for every setup and that will have a different X and Y spacing um, between the probe tip and the nozzle which you need to put in your firmware so I'll let you find your own mount and either measure the spacing um, or they might supply it in the mount documentation um, so yeah basically uh, I'm using the BL Touch as a Z end stop, the Z min end stop. So instead of using these two end stops that come with the Anycubic, um, these are actually disabled in firmware. Um, well, one of them is disabled in firmware, so I'm only using one Z min end, uh, Z -min end stop, which is this one. Um, but I've actually unplugged that one and replaced it with the um, black and white. Uh, BL touch cable, which I'll show you over here. Um, so, this red connector here has in the bottom corner the uh, BL touch uh, white wire on the outside and black wire just next to it in that orientation. Um, so, if you plug that in. The black is ground, but the uh, white actually goes to the Z min end stop. Um, and then the uh, servo wire goes to the servo port on your Trigilla, Trigorilla board, um, which I'll show you a picture of that because I just don't want to open up my machine again. Um, and you'll see where to plug that in and then we'll go through the firmware configuration changes. So here we can see the Trigorilla main board um, and basically this port here is the servo port um, and it should already have three pins soldered ready to go from the factory, soldered. Um, and the top pin is five volts for the red wire. The middle pin is ground for the brown wire and D11, the bottom pin is signal for the orange wire um, and this is not the normal orientation for a servo. Usually you have five volts in the middle, ground and signal on the outside. But I not, I'm not sure why, but yeah, you have to swap the wires around. All right, so the next step is going to be to go to this wiki here. Um, this person has made a base Marlin configuration for the Anycubic i3 Omega with BL Touch. They're not using their probe as a Z min end stop, so we'll have some slightly different things, but uh, yeah, um, the, the base stuff is still the same. So you have to check if you're using the right stepper drivers. So in my configuration, we go to the configuration.h file. I'm going to type in, I'm going to search for A4988. And you can see here that I've got mine not commented out because I'm using the 2208s in standalone mode. If you've got the stock drivers still, just comment out these lines here and these lines here you comment out with just a double slash like this um, but yeah I don't need to do that um, next step is direction of rotation of stepper motors so I'm going to search for direction uh -huh. so here's where you can find 867 see these line numbers are not quite right because they might have added stuff since they wrote this wiki and yeah so stuff's moved down or up or yeah but here uh, the default is false true true for the XYZ and the extruder um, but yeah I only have uh, this has worked fine for me so if you jog the printer and it goes in the wrong direction you can change one of these from false to true um, that will fix that next one we have to do is check if you have the right BL touch because there's a new 3.0 version if you're using the genuine one 
um, you'll want to uncomment this. So I'll type in BL touch. Uh, so yeah, if if you're using the version three, just uncomment this. But I'm not. I'm using a clone, which is based off an older version. And yep, that's cool. Um, next step is to configure the offsets. So I'll type in offset, offset. <coughs> so I've for my particular mount, it's negative 45, negative 10, and negative 1.65. Um, but this one just gets me close in the ballpark, but it's not exactly the right value. Um, you have to configure that for uh, each filament you use. Um, maybe there's a better way, I'm not sure. So we don't really have to worry about this part because I assume automatically it is uh, bilinear. I haven't ever looked into the others, but bilinear works. So that's what I use. Um, yep, and it's automatically got bilinear, so that's cool. We'll just leave that. <clears throat> the number of probe points is something you might want to change. I think I've changed mine to six. Um, so if we can find it here. Yeah, so I've got six grid points in the X and then that copies that to the Y. So you can change that for a six by six or a seven by seven grid. Yeah, yeah, you define the outermost corners of the grid. Now you won't get it completely centered over the bed just because of the way the nozzle is offset from the probe. Um, the nozzle can reach all over the bed, but the probe may not. But yeah, you can just um, measure where you want the probe to reach. So I've said five, five, and you might have to, this is like a border for the probe. So if you make this 10, um, then the probe won't be able to reach um, five on the left side of the bed because you've got a padding of 10 around your bed where the probe is not allowed to reach. Uh, you have to check which version tri-gorilla board you have. Uh, so we'll go down to the bottom. Yep, so here I've got version one uh, because I replaced my board recently. You can check, you can figure out which one is yours because the new version has Trigorilla 1.1 written on it, as you can see here, whereas the older version just has the normal symbol here. So yeah, that's how you know. Um, so once you've done all these, there is a few more things that you have to do to make it work with um, the Z min end stop. Uh, and that is actually going through in this teaching tech video here. So he does a great job of... <coughs> so just following along with teaching tech's video here, um, by default, UZ Max plug is enabled, I think, so you'll have to comment that out and you'll want to uh, uncomment use uh, Z min plug. Also, uh, end stop pull up Z min, Z min probe will be commented, so you'll have to uncomment that. You will also have to uh, go down to Z min probe end stop inverting. Um, and change it from the default false to true. I'm pretty much just uh, rewording the stuff that uh, Michael from Teaching Tech has done here. So you can check out his video and give his channel a subscribe. Uh, it's his work, I'm not uh, taking any credit for this part. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it all in this one video to make it easier for you guys to follow. But yeah, check out his channel. So you'll have to come to line 683 I searched for Z bin probe, um, it was the second one that it found. Uh, you have to uncomment Z min probe uses Z min end stop pin, because that's what we plugged into, the Z min end stop pin. So now you need to search for Z safe homing and make sure this is uncommented, because you want it, this, what this does is uh, it puts the nozzle, uh, it takes the probe to the middle of the bed before it probes so it doesn't probe in the top left corner because it might miss and then crash into the bed so yeah we need to make sure we do this. Um, next step is to just try it out uh, but I'll just warn you 
lift the print head up high and then home the printer and then just use your hand to uh, um, touch the probe and if the probe if the nozzle doesn't stop then something's wrong so turn your printer off um, and just check all your wiring the wiring is really important because uh, you may not see an error and it may self check just fine the probe but if uh, the wiring's not perfect uh, something's come unplugged yeah it, it might not trigger so just check your wiring check um, through your configuration and you should be fine all right um, I will uh, yeah I'll leave a link to my particular configuration it's slightly different it may have some faster feed rates or some slower ones I've changed them all um, but yeah you'll be able to check out that um, and yeah just follow all the instructions and it should work just fine all right so what you're going to do from here on is save uh, open up file explorer up here and we'll go into marlin and open up the marlin.ino so I'll just type in Marlin. Open that with your Arduino IDE. You have to download that if you don't have it. Okay, so once you've opened up the Arduino IDE, go into Tools, uh, select Board, and select Arduino Genuine Genuino Mega or Mega Two Five Six Zero. So you just go and select export compiled binary. Yep, and now what you'll find is you've got uh, a new file here, marlin.ino.mega.hex. Ignore the one with the bootloader, we don't need that one, but yet we do need uh, just the normal one. We go into Cura. You can also do this with Octoprint, which is what I do. Um, but I'll show you the Cura one for now cool open up Cura and we go configure Cura printers uh, we go update firmware and my printer's not connected so it um, won't let me but you'll click uh, upload custom firmware That'll open up to a file explorer and you just click on this Marlin uh, .hex without the bootloader in it. Upload it and it will be all sweet. Um, yeah, your printer will reset. And then the only thing you have to do after that, before you test your Zmin end stop, is you have to just back to this uh, GitHub repo. Um, yeah, you can pretty much follow this repo from here. But so if it's all working correctly with these commands here, once it was working, I um, went into Cura and I chucked uh, a G29 after G28. G29 in the start machine code. G29 is the auto bed leveling code. Uh, so if we go many uh, configure cura machine settings um, this is the start G code um, it's pretty stock standard but you can just see at G28 uh, we have uh, home the X and Y first and then home the Z which you'll put to the middle of the bed um, go down and then G29 is the bed level and then there's just other G code start G code stuff that you don't really need um, so yeah just use your stock start g-code and just chuck in the g29 um, that's all should be all done let me know if there's any problems that you run into because um, I did this a while ago and I'm just kind of making a video because a lot of people are asking so <clears throat> if I've missed anything just let me know cool thanks